Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf, joined today by Emma Carpenter, University of Minnesota women's golfer. Um, we're in the Greenside Bunker on the practice range here at TPC Twin Cities. And uh, Greenside Bunkers are always a very tricky topic for a lot of golfers out there. Um, maybe it's digging it and not getting it out, or maybe it's that thin one that goes over and you're concerned about, you know, the next time maybe you swing a little slow and kind of not so aggressively. And so um, getting out of the Greenside Bunker and ultimately hitting it closer to the hole is, is going to be a good thing. So that's what Emma is going to help us do today. So uh, Emma, greenside bunker shots, they're difficult, but they're not impossible, right? Sure thing, Drew. You know, there, there was one point in my in my golf career where when I hit a greenside bunker, I was like, awesome, great, we're making bogey. <laughs> <laughs> did not feel did not feel awesome about it. Um, but I mean, if you can really work on your sand game and get to a point where once you go in a bunker, you think, all right, we're fine, we're good, yeah. no worries, then uh, then your game is really, really taken to the next level because mm -hmm. you're going to find yourself in a greenside bunker at some point. So um, th there are a lot of different factors when it comes to uh, a greenside bunker in terms of you know, how close is the shot, uh, how much green do you have to work with, how far do you have to carry it, uh, is it going to spin, mm -hmm. all that. And that has to do with how much sand, <sighs> whoops, it has to do with how much sand you're taking, it has to do with um, your setup. Mm -hmm. So we're going to gonna talk about all of it. Nice, nice. I love that because there is no, no bunker shots the same, right? Um, but there is kind of a f formula, so to speak, with the setup mm -hmm. and how with the, the execution of the swing that probably gets the ball at least out of the bunker in most cases. So um, today we've got a you know, fairly standard shot we can set up with here today. So um, I think what we're going to have you do is show the viewers exactly how you get out in this situation. All right, Drew, let's do it. All right, Emma, down here in the bunker, probably 40-ish feet from the pin. Um, nothing crazy difficult about this one. Um, we have noted there's a good amount of sand in here. Mm -hmm. So, um, but talk us through the setup, how you would, you know, again, a pretty standard bunker shot, how you would set up and then ultimately hit the shot. Definitely. So uh, you will hear a lot of different opinions about um, the proper setup for a bunker shot. There's a lot of people who say you absolutely need to feel cuts out of the yeah. bunker. You need to aim left and try to kind of get the ball spinning left to right, just because that's a little bit more spinny. It's relatively um, easier to get that to stop. But I re recently worked with a pro who actually said that um, that it's okay to have a more neutral setup. So that's okay. something that, that I have definitely worked on lately. Um, so I have a, a little bit more of a neutral setup. And when I'm trying to, to hit a shot that will go a little bit higher and land a little bit softer, something that you really want to feel is you want to actually feel like this club head moves, to the, moves through the golf ball before your hand. So you kind of want to get mm. here and then you want to feel like that club releases and you can see yeah. right there how it's still kind of pointing straight my hands are, are flipped this way to get the ball spinning backwards okay. because we want the we want the golf ball spinning backwards landing softly so we also don't want to take too much sand we want to most importantly just get that that nice thump uh, we're aiming about an inch behind the ball if you take gotcha. too much sand the ball's not going to spin it's going to run forever and ever so you don't want to take too much you want to hit just about an inch behind the golf ball and you can't be afraid to take kind of a big swing yep. and um, take kind of a big swing and then and then release it. A lot of mistake other people make is they only take it back to about here. Mm -hmm. And then they either need a ton of speed to get it through or they don't have enough speed and they leave it right in the bunker. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and, and set up. I'm going to set up pretty neutral. I want it to go high. So I am notice that club face is open too. Yep. Club face is open because I want it to go high and we're going to play it a little bit more to the front of the stance because we are trying to hit just gotcha. an inch behind the golf ball. I'm gonna take it here and I'm gonna make sure that these hands flip through. Well, that'll work. A little tap in par or birdie, depending on the hole. Right? Maybe that's a tap in for you, Drew. I'm gonna be grinding oh. over it, but it looks like we got about four feet, which is <laughs> which is pretty darn good from the bunker every single time. Yeah, that was, they made that look really easy. You wanna try that again? Do you think you can beat that one? Should I try to get it inside it? Let's try it. Okay, let's try, try it. it. Giving myself a, a fair lie yeah, here. Yeah. Pretty nice lie. Some, something else that's really important is that uh, another mistake that a lot of people make is they're, they're a little too shifty with their weight. Yeah. So I would say in order to keep things really consistently, in order to keep things really consistent, you really want to keep this weight left. Okay. And you want to keep it there through the entirety of the swing. You don't want to be moving here, here. You yeah. don't want to be slipping around. You can see I also dug my feet in to, to have a nice solid base mm -hmm. as well. So here, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to beat that, Drew. So you want to keep that weight left. Flip these hands under to make sure that the ball stops. 
Oh yeah. Ooh. That's that's really close to that what one. What do you think? Those are close. <laughs> Either way, they're both pretty good. Pretty right? good. We'll, we'll pretty take good. those. We'll yeah. take those. Well, so. that's uh, the pretty simple, easy kind of few steps, right, that golfers can take when they're in the bunker because, like you said, a lot of them probably are thinking, well, I'm going to make bogey here now. <laughs> but, hey, do these few simple steps, right, and, and you can save that par. Absolutely. Or perhaps make a birdie. Absolutely. Don't be like old me. Don't be like old me and, and just accept the bogey. <laughs> but, but most importantly, get in and practice as well. Yes. It's not, the sand is something that, you know, the more reps that you do, the more comfortable you're going to feel over it. So most importantly, get in the bunker, maybe before the round, get in the bunker before the round and just feel the sand, feel that setup. And next thing you know, you feel a lot more comfortable. Awesome. Well, Emma, thank you for showing us the way today. Uh, I think a lot of golfers will take this to the course and ultimately play better golf. Absolutely.